Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Breezy here to show you how to set up an anti kick AFK macro using Corsair IQ today. If you have any other peripherals like uh, Razer, I know Razer Synapse, you can do something similar in that. But I'll show you how to do it with IQ today. So, the first thing you want to do is to create a new macro. Click the little plus button in the actions tab. Go over your macro here and simply just start pushing record. Now you don't want to be pushing things that are uh, going to be running you off cliffs. You don't want to be holding down keys or anything. And just I, I just randomly go W A S D space at different intervals. Try to avoid the shift key because you might roll off a ledge. Just like that. Once you're done, go over and click to advanced settings. You want action trigger on press. Action repeat. Set it to 999 times because you can turn it off whenever you want. Repeat delay is constant, that's fine. Next thing you wanna do is map it to a key. It's really this simple. I've gone with the backslash key, it's a key that's not really used in my uh, my key setup. If you have different macro keys on the top of your keyboard, feel free to map it to that, but I've gone with backslash. Just simply click the key, that'll assign it. And it's, it's really that easy. Uh, we'll go back into the game now, and if I push the key, you can see that my character is just randomly doing a few little actions here. And whenever you're ready uh, to stop, just push this key again. Like that, simple as that. Whenever you come back, this will repeat 999 times. Uh, usually enough time to go walk the dog, jump on the hub, whatever it is that you're, uh, you're wanting to be doing. Now when you are AFK, uh, New World can be a bit heavy on your CPU and your GPU. So it helps just so you're not frying your rig. So go over here, click visuals. Set it to lowest resolution possible. Chuck it in windowed mode. Too easy. And you can just walk away, you know, you're not frying your your, uh, your rig, you can see. It's really not using a whole lot of CPU, GPU. And when you're ready to play again, you want to make sure that you set it to full screen first. And then set uh, back to whatever aspect ratio you like to play in. Also important to remember, cap your FPS at 30 during this, just to reduce all the load on your system. Hopefully that uh, that helps you avoiding the long queues during peak times. Thanks for watching.